Mark Nelson, and I teach MCB 314, Introduction to Neurobiology. Okay, when is your course typically offered in the school year? Uh, typically offered every fall. Can you tell us what is typically covered in your course or what the main learning goals are? Yeah, the course is really uh, to understand how the brain works, and so we try and uh, explore that from all different levels of analysis from the molecular and cellular level up through networks of neurons and interconnections between different brain regions. So you get a little bit of uh, cellular neurophysiology and a little bit of neuroanatomy and a little bit of cognitive psychology. What is the format of the course? Uh, it's a lecture course. It meets uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, it's just lecture. There's no discussions, no lab. Um, so pretty straightforward. Are there eye clickers used in the course? Uh, we do use eye clickers uh, to encourage attendance and participation. How are students in your course graded? Uh, we have uh, in-class examinations. There's four in-class exams, uh, roughly equally spaced throughout the semester. And then we have two uh, what I call makeup improvement exams uh, during finals week uh, that can substitute for one of the earlier exams if a student happened to miss it or did poorly on it and thought they think they could improve their uh, performance. Uh, and that's the only that's the only assessments we have in the, the class. There's no homework uh, assignment or written work, so it's just the exams. Is there a required textbook for this course? Uh, there is a textbook for the course. I don't require it, but I highly recommend it. Uh, in part, it depends on learning preferences and learning style of the student, whether or not uh, they find it helpful. But we pretty much follow the outline, uh, chapter outline of the textbook. So if you enjoy having a resource uh, to refer to, a written resource that's in sync with the course, then the textbook is a really good way uh, to keep up with the material. Do you provide students with lecture outlines prior to the beginning of the class? Uh, yes, I put the, uh, the PowerPoint slides are uh, posted online at least 24 hours in advance and I strongly encourage students to look over the slides before coming to class uh, and then uh, it'll be easier to follow along as we go through the material and lecture. What kind of background knowledge do I need to have to take this course and are there any prerequisite classes? Uh, we've designed the class to be accessible to students from a variety of backgrounds, so it's not just MCB majors, but uh, students from any uh, major can take the course. Uh, so therefore, we don't, there aren't any uh, course prerequisites. Uh, I do recommend uh, junior or senior standing, uh, just because we're going to be integrating a lot of information from a lot of different foundational disciplines and it helps to already have that foundation like the basic science courses in place uh, before you take this course. Do you topics in your course apply to current research, medical, or scientific advancements? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> we, we try and, uh, and, and make links between the material that we're covering, which is the basic foundations of neurobiology, uh, and then tie it to uh, recent uh, research articles uh, or news articles that are relevant and the course also serves as a good foundation uh, for students that are uh, going on to careers in the health professions and uh, kind of lays the foundation for uh, the basic knowledge of how the brain works and so I make uh, ties to uh, discussions of, of clinical disorders, brain disorders uh, and things throughout the course which would be relevant to the medical field. What opportunities do you provide outside of class for students to ask questions or get assistance? Well, students uh, can always come to office hours. I have office hours uh, weekly. We also have a TA for the course who has weekly office hours. And both the TA and I are available uh, by email. Uh, if a student has a question about material in the course, they're free to just send me an email and, uh, and ask for clarification.